Strengths of acids and bases. This is something that people find confusing. It's important to remember strength is different to concentration. So what are we talking about when we're talking about a strong acid? Remember, an acid donates protons. So a strong acid is an acid that donates protons readily or easily. It gives up those protons very, very easily. Weak acids are the opposite. They do not readily donate protons. Strong acids give them up easily. Weak acids do not give them up easily. Bases, it's the same thing. A strong base accepts protons readily. So they will accept protons easily. A weak base does not readily accept protons. So strong will give up or accept protons readily and weak acids and weak bases do not readily accept protons. So strong acids, let's have a look at a couple of examples. Strong acids virtually completely ionize in water, so they can pretty much completely give away their protons. They produce many ions which make them good conductors of electricity. And examples of this are hydrochloric acid. When this is put into water, it virtually completely ionizes into H positive, which forms with water to make hydronium, plus the Cl negative ion or chloride ion. H2SO4, which is sulfuric acid, again is a strong acid because it com almost completely ionizes in water. So we put that into water and it forms H positive, and HSO4 negative, which of course is the conjugate base. HNO3 is nitric acid. Nitric acid is also a strong acid. You put that in water and it ionizes into H positive plus NO3 negative, which of course is the conjugate base because it is one less hydrogen. You look at nitric acid, HNO3, this is NO3 negative. All the conjugate bases is the acid minus the hydrogen. Here, water is acting as the base and water has gained that hydrogen. So hydronium is the conjugate acid of water. So these acids here virtually completely ionize in water. And this is what it looks like when hydrochloric acid is put into water. We have the chloride ions and the hydronium ions. And normally a diagram like this you would probably still see because it doesn't completely ionize, it virtually does, 99% ionize. You'd normally see one hydrochloric acid still floating around in there. And they haven't shown that in this picture. So you can see that it's 99.9% .9 ionized. Weak acids. Weak acids are basically the opposite of strong acids only partially ionize in water so they do not donate that hydrogen ion or that proton very readily. They form very few ions and thus they are poor conductors of electricity. Remember you need ions in water for it to conduct electricity. The more you've got the more it will conduct because you need free moving charge for electricity con to conduct. Ethanoic acid is an example of this. This is the formula here for ethanoic acid. You should be recognising the CWOH group here as a carboxy group. So to name this, you would see the two carbons, which would give you the eth prefix. And because of the carboxy group, you would give it the oic ending, so ethanoic acid. When this goes into water, it will only partially ionise. And this is what we mean by this. Here it is floating around in water. And you can see most of them have remained as the ethanoic acid um, molecule there. Only two of those have ionized. And this is what we mean by partially ionized. Only a couple of them will ionize. They are not willing to give up that hydrogen very easily. So this is just a little table here that's in your notes. And it's showing you that a strong acid, which is always represented as an H, A, so A for acid, H for the hydrogen. And it's almost 100% here ionization. This word here really should be ionization because they are ionizing. They're forming ions.
So what will happen here is that you end up with the hydronium plus the A negative because it has lost that hydrogen. So whatever the, if it was hydrochloric acid, for instance, this would be Cl negative. In a weak acid, you've only got partial ionization. So what will happen is most of it will remain as HA and a little bit will ionize. So you'll get the hydronium forming and the A negative which would be, again, if you've got ethanoic acid, because it's a weak one, most of it here would remain as ethanoic acid, some of it would form hydronium, and some of it would form the CH3COO negative. A very, very weak acid will basically not um, ionise at all in water, so it'll remain as the acid. So a strong acid, you put that into water, it is a good conductor of electricity because it forms lots and lots of iron. So here you can see the light globe is glowing nice and brightly. A weak acid does not form a lot of ions. You can see here it's only formed really one or two ions, an anion and a cation. So it's a very weak light bulb glow. Here's a couple of questions for you. A strong or a weak acid or a base? So let's have a look. Hydrochloric acid goes into water. It has fully ionized. So HCl has formed hydronium and chloride. In full ionization it means it's a strong acid. Sodium hydroxide here has gone into water. This is fully dissociated. So it's a strong base. Okay, hydrogen fluoride goes into water and you can see here We've got a hydrogen fluoride, a hydrogen fluoride, and we've got one that's ionized. It hasn't ionized fully, so we would say that this is a weak acid because it has not ionized fully. These have remained as hydrogen fluoride. And we've put ammonia into water, and what happens? Most of it remains as ammonia. Only one of them here has accepted a hydrogen ion. So we would say it's a weak base. Strength versus concentration. This is the two terms that are mixed up all the time when it comes to acids and bases. We've just learnt that strength is the ability to donate or accept protons. Okay, So how readily the particular acid or base will accept or donate protons. Concentration, we've already learnt about. Concentration is the amount of the acid or base which is dissolved in a given amount of water. Generally it'll have a unit such as 0.1 mole or it could be in grams per mole. But it's the number of particles per amount of water. Strength is the ability of those particles to donate or accept protons. So here we have a concentrated strong acid. By strong acid I'm talking about the ability for it to ionize or to donate protons and you can see here it's readily donated protons and concentrated I'm talking about there's a lot of particles per volume of water. This is a dilute solution of a strong acid. That acid is still a strong acid, it is still readily wants to give away its protons. So it has readily ionized. However, now I've only got one, two, three, four, five, six particles in this space. So this is dilute. There are less particles per volume. On this side here, I have a concentrated weak acid. It is a weak acid because it has not readily donated those hydrogen ions. It is concentrated because there are lots of particles per volume of solution. This here, a dilute solution of a weak acid. It's a, still a weak acid. Ethanoic acid does not want to readily donate its proton. It's dilute because there's only a few particles per set volume.